If you love music as much as I do and you like all the things Local Distortion does for unsigned artists, then please support the show by donating as little as £1 a month to patreon.com forward slash local distortion podcast. Please subscribe to the Local Distortion YouTube channel for more interviews, live performances and new shows exclusive to the channel. And also like and share the Local Distortion Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash local distortion podcast. Now my guest this week is Amy from the Baby Seals. Hello. <laughs> so let's kick off the show by playing one of your songs. Would you like to introduce it for us? Yes, this is Yawn Porn. <laughs> we've just played one of your songs yes would you like to discuss it yes <laughs> what, what's the song about so the song was written by kerry who is the lead singer and guitarist of baby seals and also um, your sister my sister as well yes that's <laughs> right we've got honorary sister jasmine on bass as well who's from the north <laughs> but yeah we, we... she traveled that far down to band practice <laughs> Well, I, you know, I think she would if she lived up there. She <laughs> loves us. No, we love her. Um, yeah, no, I think um, Kebby basically wrote Yawn Porn because just because b- porn's got boring, hasn't it? We all know how it's going to end. The guy is going to come on her There's face, a formula, basically. Yeah, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nothing against porn. You know, porn is there for a purpose. People enjoy porn, but just make it more interesting. You know, mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> and as Kerry always says, you know, maybe he'd come on her elbow or, <laughs> 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 or, or like just read us some, I don't know, some Wordsworth or something like that. Some Stick it in the armpit. <laughs> yeah. It's become quite aggressive, I think, porn. It's sort of, you know, a lot of young... Yeah, a lot of people have, have sort of come, well, you know... Not <laughs> <laughs> come. No, not... <laughs> Shit. 
<laughs> a lot of people have... <laughs> anything's going to be like a bloody innuendo, uh, innuendo isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. I was going to say raise the issue. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's there's been like loads of like documentaries about it on Channel Four, hasn't there? Where yeah. like there's a lot of violent repercussions to people who are like addicted to watching those sort of videos. This is the thing, and you know, yeah. you're never going to stop young boys and girls, you know, watching porn. And it, it I, you know, if 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 it's that's all there is, then yeah, it's not, it's not a very healthy image, is it? Not at all. And they, no. they sort of get this wrong idea of what sex is and, and what what it, you know. And and a lot of the time, in a lot of porn videos, you know, the girl is always the kind of victim almost. Yeah, and definitely. And you know, victimizing women. It's not. It, you know, it's nothing against porn. No, no one's. No. We're not having a go about, about porn. It's just <laughs> no. Make porn it has its place. Yeah, it's absolutely. But yeah. yeah. Mix things up. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> Porn, if you're listening. Yeah, please. <laughs> regular listener. <laughs> mix it up. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So obviously, Kerry and Jasmine, Jasmine yeah. can be here today. They couldn't, no, unfortunately. Jasmine is off to Australia tomorrow. Oh, wow. I know. Um, so she's for Christmas? Ready. For Christmas, yeah. Oh, she's spending cool. Christmas out there. And Kerry is... I think she had she because Kerry also has a side project as well. She well, so she's a solo artist. Yes. She's written an album she, yeah. away from mountains. It's amazing, and um, obviously it just goes to kind of differentiate between the writing, the baby seals because we're like definitely Pump. it's very very so different. different. And, <laughs> and obviously Kerry has written all of the songs for baby seals and obviously this album away from mountains. Um, so she's I think she's sort of preparing videos and stuff for that. So that's why she couldn't be here tonight. But it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> so representing. Yes, representing. Now, can you describe baby seals in just three words? Yes, I think I can. <laughs> it's pop, take your time. Pop empowered <laughs> punk. Okay. Basically, pop empowered. I wouldn't even use the word feminism. Although we are yeah. a feminist band, yes. but it's more empowerment. You, you do raise some interesting points yeah, in yeah. some of your songs, Definitely. which we'll get to later on. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, they're the three words I'd choose. Pop, empowered, punk. That's a lot more mellower than I thought you were going to describe yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how did you come up with the name Baby Seals? Because obviously your song titles are very out there. Yes. And the Baby Seals is it's a nice... Uh, sounding name than probably something you so the could ba- have come up with so the baby seals it was a bit of a joke really how it first came up because i used to work at this supported living place i work with people with learning disabilities as well and one of the managers um it was it was it was a couple of years ago actually she was off to hunstanton for christmas and i said to her what are you doing in hunstanton she said oh we're gonna go and see the baby seals <laughs> and i said oh are they like a punk band they sound a bit punk and she and she kind of looked at me she went no they're they're the, the baby seals they're seals on the <laughs> island so she meant the actual seals and i was thinking right, yeah. immediately i thought oh a band and um, see a punk just... band wouldn't come to mind for me if someone and said they're going to see oh, baby really? seals. The baby seals obviously just like, they would now yeah. because of this band because of the story yeah. Yeah, yeah no um so that's how um and then we were um chatting to a good friend actually about about forming a girl band because mm. obviously kerry has her side project jasmine and i are in the son teams and we thought it'd be really fun just to have a fun girly kind of project and yeah. kerry had written this song period drama and and then i sort of I think the baby seal story came up and we was chatting about a name and I said oh you know like this this happens <laughs> that's a brilliant story <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome thank you <laughs> thank you that's the way you tell it you know <laughs> yeah so. I just thought it was going to be something like you just settled for because you didn't want to be like too aggressive with your name or something yeah maybe. no it's quite it's cute as well isn't it it's quite yeah. cute and it's it's, it's kind of it's, it's deceiving I would say which yeah. is a good thing as well. It is. It's sort of getting away from the cliche kind of, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, being called like the suffragettes or something. Yeah. Even though there was a band called yeah, the suffragettes. Yeah, yeah. And, really and there's nothing wrong with being cliche. You know, it no, depends what you want to do. Not. But I think I think for for our music, I think sort of a little bit more sut- subtle, being a bit more subtle work yeah. as well, you know. Until people turn up at the gig. <laughs> and then they, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they realise what they've walked into. <laughs> 
this is a, this is a thing. <laughs> it's a shock. It's a shocker. And we have had that a few times happen, actually. If you, I mean, people... What kind of reaction do you get from people? It's it's not you know no one's ever booed us off, <laughs> and we're always pretty well received. But I I think sometimes you can just tell on people's faces they're a bit bewildered. They don't really you have they, that shock value. Yeah, people kind of clap and and you can tell just you know they're kind of confused whether they should clap or be. <laughs> be... maybe offended or yeah. it, or, or or not offended is, is that but, okay know, like, are they so... allowed to say that <laughs> yeah is that love you is that all right no yeah and I, think, <laughs> I think most people i think i think really they're either going to get it or they're not and i yeah. think the people i mean i've played um a couple of our songs to you know people i know and stuff and, and they're like well, why, why would you sing about that and that's fine you know because but... no one else is Exactly, and, it, and it's bringing and it's raising awareness um, yeah you know the young girls i think i mean labia kerry wrote Labia after she watched this documentary um it's really it's really sad actually where a lot of young girls are more and more actually sort of consider surgery on their vaginas because they haven't you know their girls are 15 or 16 because they're not happy because obviously they see a lot of body image yeah. kind of, they sort of hate themselves yeah. and there was a man who went onto the streets with a big board I think of a hundred different vagina women had just sent in pic, random oh, right, pictures okay. and literally he showed these girls saying you know everyone's different it's fine and it's that you know it's doing things like that that's really important um, yeah. for our younger generation yeah of... I had a I had a friend in my art class at college and she did a massive mural painting kind of picasso-esque oh great of a naked woman with a pair of scissors actually cutting down the stairs but it was done in such a way that you you had to kind of stare at it for a while to kind of get the image yeah yeah. but it was it was that kind of message that she was trying to get across and it's yeah really really powerful painting it's very it's art, actually art form is, is really as for music art you yeah know, pottery, it's things like that it's very powerful and you can really say um what you want through yeah one song definitely. Or, or you know or uh, painting yeah, and or that's something. that's the great thing about music is that you can you can pretty much talk about whatever you want to talk about yeah exactly i mean you know that we use obviously some of the language is a bit colorful you know <laughs> and it's not the word you know and things like that but and again people it's not very it, ladylike is it it's not very, that's exactly what someone said to me yeah. well why would you use that word and i said well why not it's, it's empowering well, guys you know, why, use why, it. why, why yeah why it's, exactly it's, why can't... it's now just standard conversational talk isn't it yeah if you're ever standing with a group of guys if one of them doesn't say the c word within the first five minutes something's wrong yeah. <laughs> but you're yeah. feeling all right and i did and i work at sixth form college as well and they yeah, use so it you, all the time yes it's, <laughs> yeah. it's every other word isn't it yeah it is and it's not you know for me it's it's i i, I really believe like like you know we are words we are language and if you yeah. kind of it's empowering you know to to be able to it also that. because of how common those words are now it it does devalue the way it was originally intended to be an insult it mm. just turns into a term of endearment almost yeah <laughs> especially with guys i don't know, I don't know about girls <laughs> <laughs> no i think i think it can be actually I don't it's, know. it's just it's just how people react to those words i think mm. I mean, obviously some people would be offended but with my group of friends term of endearment <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> And like you say, it's become for me. I just, just like, words. It's just yeah, it's just it's, air. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, it's not going to hurt you. Do you know it's what I mean? fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> yeah. Sticks and stones. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been a band now for? Literally this year, we got together. I think in February. So, yeah. how long is? Because I I was originally trying to get you guys on here very early on. Yes. In, in the podcast. Yeah. Basically, yeah. we got together. Um, in February, we did. We had maybe two practices, and then we just boom, recorded um, with mm. this guy called Jess Carr, who's Kerry's drummer, actually. Oh, <laughs> so okay. um, yeah, he basically recorded us uh, like bedroom kind of demo style, I guess, just to try and get us some gigs, basically, because obviously now promoters they want to hear what you sound like, they want to they want to get a bit of a feel. Yeah, so definitely. we did that, just put them on SoundCloud, and then we re-recorded the songs at Chime Studio with Benny Turner. Yeah, and he's done an amazing job. We were all so happy with the tracks and we're really looking forward to, you know, releasing the, I don't know, EP album? I'm not sure. EP, I guess. I was going to ask you, it's like, is it is it an EP or is it an album? I guess, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Actually, I didn't clarify that before I came <laughs> on. <laughs> um, How many songs guess, is there? There's six. So okay. not quite an album, maybe. I don't know. I would still distinguish that as an EP. An EP, yeah. yeah I've had EPs possibly, before yeah. with six, yeah. generously six songs on, which, yeah. is, which is good. 
Uh, no, yeah. it's, I'd, I'd probably say it's... it's more. half an album, really, isn't it? An album is 12 to 13 songs. <laughs> yeah, so, basically. Yeah. And maybe 10 if you're Pink Floyd and they're Ugh. really long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they're long, <laughs> it's OK. seven minutes of track. <laughs> <laughs> is there any seven-minute tracks? <laughs> No, there's not. No, there's not. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of the long, of the longest one. Maybe it's not about the money, honey. Probably is our longest song. Three and a half, four minutes. <laughs> Probably about five and a half, maybe. Oh, okay. I think five and a half. So yeah. So that one's already on SoundCloud, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So are all the songs you've currently got on SoundCloud are they going to be all featured? Yeah, on the and I don't I don't think Yawn Porn or Girl was on SoundCloud. No, they're not. They right. were no, they were later. They were written later on, so they're obviously on on the album. We just finished Girl, and it's been mixed and everything like that. So yeah, so the albums. I mean, we're waiting for like T-shirts and things like that to be made, and I don't, we haven't discussed <laughs> prices yet. But yeah, it's all... you haven't discussed capitalism yet. No, no, not yet. <laughs> later, that comes later. <laughs> World <Definitely>. domination. <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned briefly the the feminist scene. Yeah, feminist scene. It's interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's good. Because not many people probably know about that. It's probably kind of more underground, isn't it? It is. It is quite underground, actually. I mean, you got the you got like bikini, you know, sort of like the, the bigger, kind of older bands like Bikini Kill and the Raincoats that are kind of more yeah, commercial. Yeah, Sonic I guess, Youth, but... that kind of stuff. Yeah, and you know, but you That's have all like nineties a... stuff. Though. Yeah, it's it's a long time, and like the Raincoats yeah. are even older. Like Kurt Cobain's favourite band, yeah. weren't they? So it's... they've been Toyland. We played with stuff. them actually. We, we the raincoats we really? um, we were on the same bill as them. Oh, okay. it, was a, for the, it was a feminist <laughs> library, but we had the sound check. <laughs> so nice, yeah. They um, we did a, a feminist library. It was Waterloo Road. Yeah, yeah. It was closing down, so they did this gig, um, and the raincoats were on the bill. Um, we I think we played in the afternoon. They were on about six or something. So it was just a few up from them. <laughs> so <laughs> it was good. It was funny. It was a funny gig. So what's been your favourite? gig you've played this year we've done like we've done quite a few out of town gigs now we've done like we did brighton uh, a few weeks ago that was at the sticky mike's frog bar i think it was called yeah but that was really cool yeah and then we played brixton last week that was really good that was with loud so women <laughs> We're getting around. <laughs> yeah, we are. It's 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 really cool actually. We, we've sort of I think it's one of those sort of things, isn't it, when you're in a band, if you kind of you sort of just have to do one gig. So we did a gig with dolls um at the corner house and really good, you know, really really good girls. They sort of mentioned to us about loud women, they said Do you want to get in with loud women? Yeah, and just through friends and stuff you kind of get onto this kind of this circuit. Yeah. With these people, and the more people you meet, you know, at the gig in Brixton, we met Nairi um, Ruth, who used to work for Melody Maker, and you know, we got chatting to her, and she's just written a review, which was really lovely. It came You've out had quite a lot of reviews written. We have, we have written reviews about your bands. Yeah, we have. We've had some, and and you know, it's really great. It's it's lovely to for the written word. You know, it is, people still... because you don't really see that anymore. No, so people coming yeah. to gigs and writing reviews and stuff. And we haven't really had a bad one yet, I wouldn't say. So that's quite <laughs> that's nice. I'm good. sure it's coming, but maybe. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I oh, don't know. Um, I hope not. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's fine. So, I mean, there was one lady at the gig last week who said that we made a full 25 again for 20 minutes, and that's such wow. a lovely... And that's not a paid compliment, is it? That's a, that's no, a real that is, that is rock a really solid, cool compliment. That such is. a nice thing to yeah. say, and, you know, that that's... that's uh, not being sort of wanky and saying, oh, we, we make a difference or anything, but it's just nice to be able to, like, do your yeah. set, get off stage, and then have someone say something like that. It's really just such a lovely... Yeah, that's, that's It's amazing. worth more than any amount of money, I think, you know, so... Definitely. Yeah. How are you finding getting your songs on radio? <laughs> doesn't happen actually i tell a lie i think 105 played a track of ours i think it's it's not about the money honey because that's safe one there's no swearing in that i was gonna say do you have a radio friendly song we have yeah it's not about the money honey um but and i think somebody else but again the name escapes me another radio station i did see it on your feed that there was another radio station very brave enough to play labia actually my labia is upset so it must have been not uh... so safe radio song (laughs) yeah not so safe very and it's not that none of the songs are kind of edited for radio we just that's the kind of thing you can't there wouldn't be a song left exactly (laughs) exactly my (laughs) it's lopsided it would be the first rift and then it would just end <laughs> that was the baby stuff. I'm just trying to think of an item of clothing that could be lopsided that we could have put in place than labia, but I can't think mm. like my right my um <laughs> I <don't> think one. <laughs> my, my umbrella b- 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 berries. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. <laughs> my umbrella, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Something's lopsided, but I don't mind. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> my fringe. Yeah, my b- 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 fringe is lopsided. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 
that's another thing I did want to do. I don't know how well you know your songs. We're going to probably play the song a bit later on. Yeah. But if you would like to read out the first couple of lines from the song Nipple Hair. Like a poetry corner? Yes. Okay, cool. So not sing it. Let me think. So... Uh, They don't tell you what you have to maintain. They don't write about it in the book, the underarm leg or upper lip pain. And I know that one because I have my upper lip threaded and it is a bitch. (laughs) It absolutely, it really hurts. And I sometimes wonder, why do I do it? Like, (laughs) just grow it. It's fine. But again, it's that thing that I I read magazines and I watch telly. And And they tell you to do it. Yeah, because nobody has hair on their face. And actually, I've always had this obsession of growing a beard... I don't know in my luck it'd come through all really horrible and like patchy. Poor, so yeah, patchy and... Like mine, I can't grow a beard. Can't you? <laughs> no, I oh, can't. No, I feel your pain. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. You'd I... probably grow a better beard than me. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I poor just, my I've beard got, is. I've got a fine beard, which um actually I have this little story once. I went on a I went on holiday and um I, I based it was a cruise and I was really seasick, so I I had yeah. a facial booked in because I love a facial. And I took some <laughs> I had loads of alcohol and these seasickness tablets because I just wanted the seasickness to go. And literally I got into the room, I staggered in and I like, collapsed on the bed and I I passed out for the whole two hours of the face. I don't remember anything. And then later on, like my husband kept saying to me, something different about your face. And all day he kept saying, and then and then in the end it twigged and he said, Your beard's gone. Like my fine, lovely fine beard. And I, I ran to the mirror and I was devastated. And she had. She'd like, she waxed know, your face. She, she'd basically like taken my beard off while I was wow. passed out. And I couldn't breathe. I was just like Oh, it grew back. Hopefully, it grew back. But you know, thank I just, God it thank grew God, back. Thank God it grew back, and it was fine because I was really worried. I thought it might come through all thick, and but that would have been good. But you know, thick, and but no, yes, sort of like very fine hair that's growing back. But yeah, it was what did really... your husband think to your growing a beard obsession? Oh, he th- he he did say actually he's going to get me um fake beard. You know, like oh, a yes. party beards because yeah. I just like to wear one. Um, should, we, should we just play the the song now? Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Let's... This is nipple hair. (laughs) They don't tell you what you have to maintain. They don't write about it in the books. The underarm leg or upper lip pain. Choosing smooth is cool, but you still have choices. You don't have to listen to the Gillette of Venus voices. Tell you, what, like tell you what, tell you what I've always found. Girls love to grow their leg hair, don't they? I've got really long hair, leg hair. Yeah, I, do, I can't be bothered at all. It's, uh, <laughs> it's... <laughs> One of my friends used to say, keeps you warm in the winter. Yeah, it does. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty-
prickly. I mean, you feel it through your tights. I've got tights on today and I can kind of feel it poking through my tights. <laughs> <laughs> again, like, I think Nipple Hair, the song, it's, it, again, it's with the songwriting, it's not, never having a go at anyone. Because I, I have friends that yeah. basically can't bear to be hairy and have to wax. Mm. And that's absolutely cool, but let it be your choice. Like, don't don't be brainwashed or don't be don't have don't feel bad about your body like for me my leg hair you know I went to the gym the other day and I had my shorts on and I had leg hair and I thought I don't care actually what anyone thinks I don't want to shave my legs and yeah. I think that's the difference isn't it if if you were pressurized into doing these you know it's like waxing your pu pubic hair off to have a Brazilian you know if if, if you're pressurized into doing that then that, that becomes wrong but yeah. on society more than anything if people choose to do that and you know it's fine you know if, they, yeah, if that's yeah, what that's, they like to look at wrong with it <laughs> not at all and it's no it is nothing kind of bad about it it's, it's no. just it becomes that kind of it crosses that line i feel and i think that's what the song is kind of saying i think there's a, even a lyric in it was it says choosing smooth is cool but you still have choices yeah. Don't listen to the Venus, uh, the Je Venus Gillette. of Gillette voices. Yeah, yeah, I love that line. <laughs> yeah, it's a great line, and I think I think it's true. It's totally. It's not like have it again. It's not telling women because that's the thing with feminism. I think yeah. that word feminism puts people off because there are a lot of angry feminists out there. Yeah, who kind of like vegetarians. Yeah, they're angry vegetarians. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all vegan. It's that kind of cliche yes. thing, isn't it? Vegan, feminist, hairy. You know, that's stereotype. That, it, it, it is. It's that kind of yeah. thing, and that's absolutely which cool. society has maybe portrayed. Yeah, it, possibly. And I, I think in I a think negative this, light. And that so that word feminism, then people become kind of a bit scared of it and start using yes. the word feminazi. And, and actually, all feminism means is equality. And, and shaving yeah. your armpits or shaving your legs doesn't have anything to do with equality or wearing makeup. It's no. got nothing. It's it's about equal rights and equal opportunity and like yeah. not say not d denying a woman the right for a, to have a job because she might have a baby you know it's things like that yeah. isn't it rather than yeah. being angry with women who wax their armpits and, <laughs> and, and there are I mean I've met you know some feminists who are a bit like that you know and it's a yeah. shame because actually they're angry but and they've got every right to be angry but they're kind of ang putting their anger at the wrong people and it's <laughs> instead of like have you know I, I say like some of the songs are quite you've got some sort of irony kind of yes, through definitely. them um, yeah. and, and it makes you kind me, of laugh it off as a joke but they are serious yeah serious points and, and, and boys you know men and you know everybody can kind of enjoy the songs and it's it's it, and I, find, I always have this thing if, if you're going to lecture someone and tell them off and you know people just shut down they don't want to hear it yeah. whereas if you're having maybe a joke if, and, if the people can make up their own mind yeah then that's when you can appeal to more people absolutely because if you've only if you've only got one direct message and you're pretty much telling people something yeah then they might be like well i don't agree with that yeah but if you're more you know meh, like you know. it, yeah, kind of bringing up the point. Like you yeah, said, bring that up, but doing it ironically in a way that's yeah. accessible for everyone. Yeah, then you're not going to offend anyone. Exactly. Well, you you still might, but not as many. <laughs> not as many. And it's it's funny because you know a lot a lot of women. It's just lovely actually. A lot of women have really complimented, and, and men as well. You know, I say women, but you know, I suppose it like period drama. A lot of women can well, most women can identify with that. Whereas yeah. a man probably maybe can't so much. You know, but you know it's like the kind of um it's just nice to hear women saying oh i've had that before and everybody's the set so it's like kind of gets rid of the, the taboo-ness about definitely. it definitely and yeah. you know and it's that it's relatability of... at the same, same time isn't it yeah it's just like, definitely oh, i'm so it's... glad that you know you can relate to this because... yeah and that it's kind of funny for women because they've yeah. all had, we've all done it we've all sat <laughs> on that white seat and we've all like worn white trousers <laughs> <laughs> so we've all we've all gone swimming, you know. We've all done it. It's all happened. It's always, it's embarrassing and it's horrible. And you want the ground to swallow you up, but it, it happens to all of us. And it's kind of like getting rid of that taboo about it's disgusting or because it, it is natural and it's it's yeah. It's how we... and guys, if they live with girls, they know all this anyway. Exactly. So yeah. they're not going to find it disgusting. No. Because it's just like, well, if you live with a woman, then you accept all those things exactly yeah and that's how you know the world manages to just keep going because that that because of that we're able to have babies and you know exactly. give, give birth and whether that's a good thing or you know, <laughs> there are so many people in the world but you know i don't know but yeah it's, it's so it's a good thing yeah and i think um bringing it up in like you very rightly said in that kind of like nice ironic kind of way is is it, it, people love it and, yeah yeah and i think i think that's what makes the band or the baby seals quite special.
Right, so we're going to go back more onto band-related things now. Yes. Even though it is kind of all related. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> everything's going to be a... Oh, my God. I just... I want to be really careful about what I say now because of innuendos. Innuendos. Oh, there's so many, isn't there? Just yeah. so many, especially when you're talking like things like this. But, yeah. yeah. That's okay. We'll... we'll, we'll We'll get through it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get through it, Dan. We'll be hard at it, and we'll get through it. And uh, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know what I meant by that. It just sounded dirty. <laughs> just yeah. It's like the whole that's what she said thing, mm, isn't it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh god. <laughs> What's been your funniest moment so far? Being on tour, maybe. Um, or just general with the band. But to be honest, we're very lucky. We all get on. Obviously, Kerry's... Really you know, like, you have a lot of fun when you're so doing baby seal stuff. Well, they're, they're just... Kerry and Jasmine are, like... They're amazing. They, they honestly... I'm not just saying that, but they really... They're just cool, and they're lovely, and... I don't know, it's... Nothing's ever a drama. You know, it's always... It's always... I mean, Kerry... She's hilarious. She's hilariously funny. She she does different accents, and... <laughs> so just Jasmine, and then to get... I mean, we was going, when we was going down to Brixton... Um, I was in the back and they were in the front and I was just crying with laughter for most of the way down because they were bouncing off it, you know. It's, it's, yeah, I feel very lucky to be in such a great, you know, sort of outfit. So there's always funny moments, but I guess there was what this one funny moment that was... <laughs> I, that maybe, I don't know, but I think it maybe inspired the song Girl, um, which one of the lines is, you can pee where you want to. <laughs> <laughs> and we were at um, the fem- we was going to the feminist library gig, and I I said to the girls, let's drive down to Redbridge, which is obviously just off the M11, really easy to get to. Cause Even that sounds like an innuendo for Redbridge. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, it does actually, doesn't it? I don't even. I'm think. on my Redbridge this <laughs> month. <laughs> I might start saying that. Let's make it a saying. So I might tweet it. Hashtag Red Bridge. <laughs> Hashtag anybody else. <laughs> Hashtag. Oh, it's a nightmare. Um, yeah, we was going down to Red Bridge. We came off the M11. It's obviously off the M11. And I was absolutely bursting for a wee. Like, like seriously, was going to wet myself. And we, anyway, there was no car parking spaces. I don't know if anyone sort of knows Red Bridge. The tube station is kind of as you drive past the car park and then you go into the car park and the car right. park's quite long so went right to the back of the car park and the tube station's like maybe a quarter of a mile away and I was like oh, I God. just need a wee I need a wee yeah. um, so I decided it was broad daylight because it was an afternoon gig and I was, was kind of at the back of the car park so I thought it's okay no one's about so I yanked down like my pants and everything and started having this wee, almighty big wee. And anyway, this car then just fr- just pulls up next to us. Oh, no. And Kerry's like banging on the car going, Amy, Amy, finish right now. They're, they're getting out. And I was like, I can't, I can't finish. <laughs> I looked up and there's this old man stood looking at me and I was like, hello. <laughs> just having a wee. And I just couldn't fit. And it was, it was, it was really funny. I guess it's one of those you had to be there moments, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, no, no, maybe that's where girl came from. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll have to ask Kerry. Um, but yeah, we've we've had quite a few funny moments. I'm just trying to think of some more. But you that, know, there's so, when there's it. so many, yeah, it's hard to pick one, isn't it's it? So, but that one came to mind because because uh, it happened to me. And I was like, I feel like an idiot. So. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that story on the radio, would you? Probably really? not, actually. You probably wouldn't want to. I mean, I probably would tell it one day on radio. Maybe. <laughs> see what people, see how they react. <laughs> Just putting it out there. <laughs> <laughs> I do go a bit feral sometimes. I like to wee in different places. Yeah, it's just... Uh, but I think what made you it... she even... Yes, I have. I've never tried one. I've never I always see them at festivals, like at Download and stuff. Yeah, and... they're great, aren't they? Yeah. And like, cause it's Little true. funnel it's, things. It's, it's true. And I, I hate, I've been to a few festivals. Because girls hate sitting down at festivals. Oh, they will not the sit down. It's the worst, right? It's I don't awful. think even guys would sit down at festivals. No. Some, some of those toilets a are treat disgusting. treat wee for a man. Is it called a treat wee? I, I don't know, is you it? Treat yourself, you treat yourself to a sit, like, cheeky sit down. <laughs> the funny, I have a, an amazing memory from Download where, you know, obviously queuing up for toilets is a nightmare at festivals and I think it was quite early in the morning we were all gonna walk off to go see a band or something and there was this guy just peeing up against graded fences metal oh, fences yeah yeah and he's just obviously you know he's going for a piss he doesn't want to wait in the queue fair enough That's so we all stood behind him in a queue <laughs> <laughs> and we got a picture of it 
<laughs> and it's amazing. That's really funny. So he's all like just in nature, queuing up for nature. Yeah. For nature for weed. Even though this fence goes for miles, <laughs> we could have just so pulled cute. up next to him and went. We decided to queue up behind him. <laughs> That's very polite. I think that's very proper. Very nice. If yeah. I could find the picture, I will insert it in you this should, podcast. You totally it's should. It's amazing. Yeah, it sounds really funny. Yeah, having a weed. Did you get him while he was mid-flow or did he put it away? Oh, no. He, well, you can't see it. It's quite zoomed out. Oh, but okay. you can you can tell that he's going for a picture. Was he smiling? Did he know that you were taking him? He, he was very confused when he turned <laughs> around. He was, I've, he was funny very thing confused. Is, I, I, you say that about download. I've got a really funny download story where someone pissed on me. They didn't piss on a fence, they pissed on oh, me. Oh, no. Um, this guy, he was really... Oh, we, we, down there, we were seeing Metallica, and uh, yeah. they were late on. It was the year they were um, horrifically late on and mm. um, needed to have another drummer, I think, because they were Lars or... I was there that year. No. Yes. The, did you... Did, really? So they, they had the drum from Slipknot. That's right. Um, they yeah. did Slipknot, and they also did Slayer, which was yes. apparently... Because I'm not, like, really into that genre of music, but apparently that was, like, history being made because they the bands hated each other or something, or they were, like, rivals yeah, they or didn't something. Yeah, really get on or something. So, like, I remember this one man going, history's being made! Because the <laughs> drummer from Slayer was drumming with Metallica, so to save the show. Yeah. So it was quite funny, but, yeah, apparently Lars Ulrich couldn't make it, or... Yeah, I think he was ill or something. That was probably... probably he probably the, had the, food poisoning. Poor bloke. I'm saying, yeah. like, he was... <laughs> Had the flu. Yeah, yeah, had the shits. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, or he was queuing like, up behind someone. Yeah. He was pissing on a roof. Yeah, on, <laughs> on a fence. Yeah, on a fence. <laughs> well, this this man was waiting for them to come on, and this man, uh, yeah, really bizarrely, um, started weeing up my leg, and I and I turned around because I felt that happens weird. a lot at festivals. Really bizarre moment, and it was happened years ago. It was back in two thousand four. Uh, yeah, I was I like, mad. dude, what are you doing? Like yeah. that, really calm. I wasn't like because yeah. I was quite drunk myself. And, yeah. and he went, oh, sorry, love, and pointed it in the other direction. He started so he pissing up someone else's leg. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Just, I got this man's wee down my, and then Metallica came on, and it was all fine again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, uh, it was a uh, funny. Yeah, wasn't that funny? You were there as well. That, you must have been because you're the same age as me. I think you're a, a little a bit year older. Or two older. Oh, okay, so you're in your. I'm third. twenty. No, no, no. How old are you? I'm 27. Oh, I'm a little bit old. I'm five years older than you. I'm 32, really? yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. I didn't think you were 32. Did you not? A no, lot of people say that. I thought you were late that. 20s. Oh, thank you. A yeah. lot of people do say that. It's got so like, that waxing face. It's, yeah, it's got all this beard or just letting it grow. <laughs> it's all those facials. Those, it's uh, working. It's working. <laughs> yeah. You look yeah. younger. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the goose fat I use. <laughs> or I eat. <laughs> I think it's having a round face because I've got quite a round face. So I think that helps maybe. I don't know. I think if I went gaunt and skinny, maybe I'd look my age. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's my excuse anyway for not going on a diet. <laughs> I, I do have a funny festival story. I haven't told on the podcast yet, but it's not really music related, it's but right. I just wanted to tell it because it's mind blowing. Yeah, do tell it now. Come on. Okay, so you know how people love to dress up yeah. at festivals. There was a guy and he was dressed up as Spider Man, which was awesome. Yeah. And he's walking along and I sort of clocked him. I was like, oh yeah, Spider Man, that's cool. And I just see him stop. And he sort of took a stance, like right. he was about to fight. And he pointed, like, straight ahead. And there was another Spider-Man. <laughs> and then that Spider-Man clocked him and went running up to him, right? Yeah. So, like, looked like he was going to fight. And the first guy, who was closest to me in the Spider-Man costume, did a backflip out of nowhere <laughs> to dodge oh, this fake punch. <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, did anyone just see that? I was like, that is incredible. That is quite a story. I like that. So did they, did they yeah. end up having this big fight? Or was it, did they, did everyone they was just out the way? Everyone was just blown away by <laughs> this Matrix backflip the first Spider-Man did. Was it a trigger happy TV by any chance? No, it, no, was, it, was, just, just, it was just a random just... spontaneous moment in time, which Brilliant. I will take you to were, my grave. And like, you were lucky enough I, to be there. Yeah. I, Fantastic. It's probably one of the greatest things I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Like, better than any band I saw that year at Download. <laughs> <laughs> Just those two Spider-Men. Did you know Spider-Men. <laughs> Spider-Men. <laughs> Spider- two, plural. <laughs> Spider- Have you ever seen that Friends episode where it's like... <laughs> his name's not Spider-Man. <laughs> He's a Spider-Man. <laughs> no, I've not seen that one. I, like, was, I thought you was going to say... Spider-Man. <laughs> Spiderman, like it's his last name, Dennis Spiderman. Yeah. Like, um, I thought you was gonna say the 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 Peep Show thing came into mind with men with Ven, you know, because <laughs> a man with a van, and because there's two of them, he's like, we're men with 
Ben. Ben. <lacht> Spider-Man. 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 That's a really cool story. I like that. It was just a moment in time that you just you cannot replicate because no, it was yeah. so spontaneous and random. And so backflip. That sounds quite good. Yeah. Don't, you don't often see people do backflips. No, and it was so out of nowhere. Yeah. You just weren't expecting it. And the other Spider-Man was sort of taken back. He was just shocked. <laughs> like whoa. <laughs> and oh. everyone just went mental. <laughs> mind blown oh brilliant I wish I'd seen that that sounds really cool <laughs> I wish I filmed it yeah no did anyone film it do you think was it too quick I'm going to search quick... YouTube now yeah you should Spider-Man versus Spider-Man versus or... Spi- 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 Spider-Man <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> with a yeah plural yeah. <laughs> oh man so we've got a few more questions and then we'll wrap up yeah do you have any advice for aspiring musicians Oh, gosh. It's... Obviously, you've been playing music for a long time, haven't you? Yeah, for a long time. And I guess, I mean... When did you first get into a band? So, so I guess it would be with my sister, with Kerry. We we did this band that we were called Shit Sandwich. Um, because we like Spinal Tap and there's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a review in there. when they How had, old were you then? We were like 14, wow. 15, something like that. So we was in this duo and we did... It was quite folky, so that name, again, it was quite yeah. unexpected, like Shit Sandwich. And it was to do with the review, the Shark Sandwich, no album, yeah. and then the review was Shit Sandwich. So over your years of playing, what kind of advice have you picked up along the way? I or guess... just do's and don'ts, maybe? I would never say do or don't do anything like do whatever feels right basically so I think it's different for different people as well because it yeah. depends what you want to do like it depends what sort of um, I've always sort of been in kind of DIY like this, I was in a band the Son teams and it's it was kind of I've always sort of been in bands that are more underground we've never strived to be commercial yeah. so I guess you know if you I mean I have friends that I you know who, who are maybe solo artists and stuff that, that do strive for that and they have to follow a different path so it kind of depends yeah. what you want to do in music without the one sounding too babbly I think just have fun treat people nicely you know I, I think you know I've played with some bands before that quite frankly are arseholes yeah. and have been really horrible have made the whole experience really horrible yeah. and, and then I don't, don't know. Just, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Yeah, just yeah. be. Just gee, you don't have to be overly friendly if you don't feel like talking. That's cool. But don't yeah. be. Don't go out of your way to be a massive knob. Because it, <laughs> it, like it, it, you know, I remember people. You like got nothing that. nice to say. <laughs> Don't, don't say, say it. Don't say it. nothing at all. So yeah, just be just just be your lovely selves. Have fun and yeah. uh, just you don't worry about anything. And if you yeah. you know people don't get it, that's the other thing as well. I think you know if people don't get it. Stay true to what you think. So if you if you yeah. if you if you know that what you're doing and you love what you do, just do it. Don't worry about what people think. Yeah. You know, it's it, people like. That's get definitely it how I've operated this podcast. <laughs> to just true. don't give a shit what people Absolutely. think. Absolutely. And, and I pe- thought I thought at the start I was like, are people going to get this? Are people going to, you know really get what I'm going for and luckily they have yeah and it's the right people though because I'm sure yeah. you know it's like with the baby seals it's not for everyone exactly it's something um, different it, and it's a, and it's a great thing and yeah. I, th- I think basically for me I, I don't like I think as you get older this happens I don't think it's something that just happens when you're like 16 17 I think actually you have a lot of years of being very unsure and, and you know uncertain about things but actually as you get older you realize do you know what it's my life and if I would like to do yeah. something and if I you know, I wish I had this idea about oh, maybe five or six years ago I know I know this is the thing and you do you think oh, you're I mean, just like damn <clears throat> I wish I could be like who I am yeah. now back at school you know because because yeah. I, I mean I'm still a little bit unsure of myself and I, as my mm. sister says she, she always says you haven't quite landed yet I mean yeah. you're still circling the airport <laughs> and you, you, you know when you land and you're finally you still always grow as a person yeah. but you kind of you just of, have that appearance where you're like, I know what I want to do now. Yeah, and this, and it's is, kind of quite this is me. Com- and it's quite confidence about it. Is, it is, and, yeah, uh, and not, you know, be- people get com- confidence and cockiness confused. It's not being cocky, it's being... No, it isn't. It's just at, knowing at that yeah. what you're doing actually pleases you. There is a difference, yeah. Because, I think so. you know, that, that's what I've said previously. There's a lot of confident people that have been on this podcast, mm. but they're not arrogant, but they have every right to be confident because some of the music, some of these... Mm. guys are churning out is incredible yeah oh god yeah and and I, would, I would be raving about it if i if i did some of the stuff these yeah. guys were doing there's some there's so much local talent out there it's wonderful yeah. it, you know and i i do it really it really 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 gets on my wick when i hear people you know when um i know when i've said to like people who perhaps aren't it that into music you know would you want to come and see a gig and they'll say oh where is it and you'll say oh the portland arms they'll go oh well, not a real gig then 
Yeah. I say, yeah, it's a real gig. There's going to be musicians there and they're playing and they're like, but yeah, it's not like, you know, Foo Fighters. And I say, <sighs> well, <laughs> the f- they had to start somewhere. Yeah. They didn't just play at Wembley one day. You know, it's, it's that kind of thing. People get this thing where yeah, they, they, they don't... have they have one come. bad experience. And also, like, the sound, sometimes at like, local venues, the sound yeah, might not sound be so... I mean, sound so good. important, you know. It is, but, yeah. but it's that kind of idea that you're not a proper band because you're not playing at the O2. Yeah. And that's really insulting. And actually, I know some fantastic bands who I love, love listening yeah. to. Like, I've got I've their albums. Some, yeah. And they're not, you know, they wouldn't... You wouldn't know them anywhere else, but they're no. this local... Kind Everyone's of, got to start somewhere. Exactly. That's what we with Diamonds. And it's just like... Look, you can come see this band for free, right? Mm. For free now. Yeah. And you can grumble about it, but it will be amazing. Or yeah. you can wait a year and you'll be obsessed with them and you'll have to pay 45 quid to go yeah, see them. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what do I mean? It it's now. just like, and do it cool. now. And then you've got the, <laughs> the story of being able to tell people, I saw these guys when they were in a room, you know, the size of my kitchen. Yeah, exactly. And it was incredible. And it's like that you, kind of... you have that story and that you that can tell of, people. That's I was there first. Yeah, yeah. That and kind you, of thing. I like them first. Yeah. I, I, I was it's not yeah, you. I, I discovered this band. Not <laughs> yeah. like, you know, I jumped on the bandwagon when they were big. I know, yeah, that's how bands grow. But you know when people just jump on bands because everyone else likes them. Yeah. <laughs> Do my head in. <laughs> yeah. A... Be a legitimate fan. Go to the gigs because you want to go there. Not just because, oh, that band's big. Yeah. Like, go there to enjoy the music. And also support, like, live music. Go yeah. and see your local gig. You know, go and because see... Because you never know who you're going to discover. Exactly. Which I've found out by doing this. And even though, you know, some of the bands and artists might never become, like, what you call commercial or, like, big, but yeah. still, you know, like, there's some... Like, this Emily Fraser, you know, this girl, she's playing on Saturday at the Portland Arms. She's just... She's her voice, you know. She's just mm. amazing. She's got like, and there's so many bands, you know, that, that are incredible. Um, that 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 won't ever probably become like could be national, nationally acclaimed kind of artists, but they're they're still amazing, and they'll give anybody a run for their money. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah, so definitely. it's like, yeah. so it's like it's that thing where it actually doesn't even matter if they never become like these big you know, superstars or whatever, they're, they're, they're amazing and they're playing down the road, so go and see them, for goodness yeah. sake, you know, go, you know, pay a fiver or whatever it is, go yeah. and see them and support your local music scene, you know. Yeah. it's Stop it, playing, look, stop paying like 300 odd pounds for festivals of bands <laughs> that you've already seen about five to eight times, like, yeah. Save that money and go to about a hundred gigs in a year and yeah. discover new bands. The best, the best, honestly, my That'd best, be my, gig, my best big gig experience, Dan, is going to local. Like the best gigs I've been to are local because you, it's so it's such mm. a social thing as well. Like yeah. seeing people and you know and getting to chat to the band afterwards and stuff. And it's yeah, really it's interesting. A more, more of a personal experience. I much find. more. And and the big stadium experiences are just a ball ache. I think. <laughs> yeah, smaller gigs are my favourites. I yeah. think. I definitely, definitely think so. I think we're going to wrap this up now. Where can everyone follow you on social media? So you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And obviously it's the Baby Seals. I think that's about... And obviously we're on SoundCloud. I think that's it, actually. I yeah. think that's all, all. So when's the EP coming up? It'll be early next year, I think. And you're working on the music video as well, aren't you? Yeah, we've just... We, we recorded one music video to My Labby is Lopsided, but I don't mind. That was, uh, <laughs> that was at the Chalk Pits. It was a really funny day, actually, because there was like this family that decided to come out for a picnic um, and the chalk pits, I don't know if you've ever been, but they're huge in Cherry yeah. Hinton. They're, they're a really big space, you know, vast kind of space and they decided to sit down right where we were recording to watch and they had, mm. the, like, had this, and it was quite a cold day. Like, I don't know what, <laughs> we were sort of joking on because the kids were like really little and we were saying, you know, not Lego land today, we're going to the chalk pits, <laughs> we're going to have some sandwiches and sit and watch this. <laughs> and, we, and we thought maybe the parents maybe tried to twist it by saying, look, we brought you to see a band. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. And then we couldn't play because of the lyrics, these yeah, little children. Oh you know, we thought, you know, maybe they don't really want to know what a labia is at four years old. Maybe they yeah. need, they want to wait. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we did that and we're doing a second video, I think, early next year to kind of release. And we're working on a website as well. Uh, so the web page is almost finished too. Awesome. So yeah, it's been, but it's been lovely to come in. Thanks for inviting me on, and That's it's right. been lovely chatting to you and seeing you again. And yeah, yeah. we'll definitely sort something out to do that, more stuff on the channel with baby seals. That'd be fun. We'd yeah. love that, and the girls will come next time. I'm sure of it. Yeah. So they said to say hello, by the way. <laughs> hello. <laughs> At the end of the show, and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> So you can support the show on Patreon at patreon.com 
forward slash local distortion podcast you can join local distortion on facebook facebook.com forward slash local distortion podcast and i'm on twitter as well because you just have to be on twitter don't you yeah you gotta be got a hashtag yeah dan l distortion because local distortion was taken oh was it yeah by who i I don't know i need to track him down yeah (laughs) and please subscribe to the youtube channel because that is where all my content is yay so we have loads more podcasts, which you should check out if you enjoyed this one, if you're new. Yes. <laughs> and we also do Undiscovered Sessions, which is acoustic recordings with some of the bands that we interview. They come in and do like two to three track sets. Nice. Yeah, so check some of those out. And we also have Glovebox Jukebox, which is my new show, where we go through the band's cars and go through their CD collection. Very interesting. I bet. <laughs> and very funny. It's it looked, the one yeah. I just saw was really funny. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. I'm going to show you, Amy, the new one, which will probably be out when this podcast is out. Cool. So I'll put a link at the end of this podcast to that. Cool. Thank you for listening. That's Thank the you. Show. Thank you very much. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm happy to listen. <laughs> I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> no, I was happy to go on. Thanks, Dan.